Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Good day, pirates playing point-and-click puzzlers! It's in the Caribbean, Scab Island. I'm Unsilent and we're on the air with a new game. It's Monkey Island 2! So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. <laughs> Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? <laughs> no, bigger than that. A beard? <laughs> no, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Big Whoop? Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. You can only dine out on one story for so long, it steams. Hi, folks, I'm Unsilent, and this is Monkey Island 2. The sequel to The Secret of Monkey Island. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. I'm guessing that's a meta joke, and the game cost $50 when it was new back in 1991. This is Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, as we've reached part one, the Largo Embargo! What's a Largo Embargo? Anyway, yes, it's Monkey Island 2 from 1991 originally, and then re-released as the Special Edition in 2010, each coming one year after the original Monkey Island and the Monkey Island Special Edition. So here we are, we are Guybrush Threepwood, if you watched the last Let's Play, we've got a link in the description card at the top right. You'll remember Mr. Threepwood, he defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck as he was telling his friends around the campfire there. Onwards, Thriftweed! Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge! You gotta pay! Okay, well, we're already into actually having some dialogue here. Is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money. I don't want in trouble. Uh, who's gonna make me shorty? That's gonna get us in trouble. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. I'm thinking one or four. Ah, let's do four. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? I think that backfired. Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. So then who maintains the law and order? Who eats donuts and roughs up the transients? <laughs> Please stop my new coat. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. Who who does eat the donuts and rough up the transients? And who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on these roughing up on this island. Walked into that. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Ah, uh, he's a poet. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. <laughs> they still do traveler's checks now. I mean, I went, I went traveling about six, seven years ago last time I went on an actual trip. I had traveler's checks. But, uh, okay, so I guess that's the Largo for the Embargo. Now, this is Monkey Island 2's special edition. It has had some changes from Monkey Island 1. Some pieces haven't changed. The switch over. There it is. Keeping it old school. The achievement unlocked. I really should put this in the, uh, you know, screen capture so you can see when those achievements popped up. Since it doesn't show up in the game capture on OBS. But, uh, we have... 
we can push look at and sign. Because this is the old school edition. You push F1 and it will swap seamlessly between the old and the new graphics. Or I guess the new and the old graphics in this case. You know what? Let's be honest here for just a second. If I could take just a moment of everyone's time. It's the old stuff still looks pretty good. Welcome to Wood Tick. No treads are hunting zone. Well, it doesn't seem to be any treasure for us to find, according to the other fella, so... Uh, this game also has an option. I found that in the options. It's not on by default, but you could have it still voice the lines as opposed to uh, having it, you know, just the text, right? Now, they didn't have that option in the first Monkey Island Special Edition. That's one of a few changes that they have made between the original Monkey Island Special Edition and the sequel. So we can, for example, look at the door... I said, oh, no, we're just going to go in. We can look at the woodsmith. He looks buff. Or we could, let's switch back to the new one with the sound effects and everything, I guess. We could push the right click and we could, we can get a, basically a radial menu. So we can push the woodsmith, we can pull the woodsmith, <laughs> we can use the woodsmith, and we can look at the woodsmith, but we can't grab the woodsmith. We can talk to him. So let's talk to the woodsmith. Yeah. What's the problem with the Largo guy? Nice apron. Are you some kind of chef? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, those boys the, that made this game. It was uh, Ron Gilbert was the lead, Tim Schafer, and Dave Grossman, the trio that did Monkey Island 1 as well. So I get the feeling this is going to be their peculiar sense of humor that we're about to experience here. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and wood... What the... <laughs> but if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Holy crap, how many takes do you think somebody's going to need to read that line? But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? <laughs> this is fantastic! Who wrote this? Yes, I know. A woodchuck should chuck a, a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Wow. <laughs> a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Uh, what's the problem with that Largo guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? <laughs> no. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron, are you some? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh, it just ended the conversation. So we can look at the wood bench. Nice, sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Is there anything we can pick up? Get away from there. Okay. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Now, if there's something on there, we gotta distract him. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Okay. Can you pick up the chair? Get your hands away from there. That's no. It's not for sale. So we have to dispose of him if we're going to start pilfering that. By the way, how are we doing for inventory? Inventory, they moved on to the middle mouse button. Oh yeah, we were picked clean. All right. That says help wanted. I guess we could run around and look. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Well, considering that we're trying to find our way off the island, we're trying to charter a boat to get off the island, we can look inside the... The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Maybe they need a waiter. Or some such there. I was going to say a barkeep, but no, we've got a barkeep. Uh... Though his commitment to sanitation is, um, questionable at best. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, let's see. How's business? Grog, please. Grog! It's been a while. 
since we've had uh, had to deal with the crop well, probably since this time last year when I played the last game. Let's uh, let's ask uh, how's business. How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual. And put it in a real glass. Oh my. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. You. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Well, too bad you're going to. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Let's see. Uh, Grog. Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. Ouch. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near Grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Must have left my ID by other pants. Who's this Kate person mentioned? Everything. Now, this is the second person we've had that's mentioned a voodoo doll. So I know that we have to get money to get it off the island, because that's the first goal since all our money's been taken. And this is a nice thing. It's subtly introducing different you know goals for you've got to create a voodoo doll of mr largo legrand uh i don't know how to though and we have to get off the island so i'm guessing step one the voodoo doll comes before step two so it's nice that it's actually giving me these goals to kind of work my way through but let's figure out who this kate person is because they don't mention her unless it's important who's this kate person you mentioned ah the courageous captain kate capsize Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Well, now, see, there's the thing, is we just figured out how to do step two. How are we going to charter a boat off the island? Well, we've got to talk to Captain Kate Capsize. Oh, sorry, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh yeah, I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. So, we've got to dispose of the cook, I guess. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Can I play the piano? I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. You can't play chopsticks or something? Spit dripping down the wall. That's Largo's lovely. Been here. Hey, hired help only. Arg, all right. So we've got to find a way to get past him and dispose of the chef. So we've got a few ways going about this. I, I'm assuming. What's this door? Ask her. Let's just go to the door. We've done the woodsmith, the bar, and now we're in... Hello. Hello. In the cartographer's lounge. Can we pick up the cartographer? I'm not dressed for wrestling. Well, nobody thinks you're dressed for being a pirate either, Guybrush, so let's talk to our cartographer friend. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? See, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the Chuck Busting Stud. I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Well, nice place you have here. Goodbye. Let's start with the first one. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, the Chuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. 
Wow, what a response. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Let's just ask who he is. Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. All right, Wally. Um, what do you do here? What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? <laughs> uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. I wouldn't want to have, you know, 17th or 16th century open heart surgery. I don't think that would be very healthy. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Well, that could be uh, important to us. I think we need to befriend Mr. Wallace here. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, find out about Scab Island here. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? No, I'm trying to get. Oh, I'm trying to get away from here. Yep, pretty much. Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. So, we've got to deal with Largo because he's got an embargo on sailing. So, as long as Largo's embargo is standing, we're stuck here. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. All right. Oh, yeah, the governor's mansion. There's got to be somebody here with some authority. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Isn't anarchist cooperative slightly oxymoronic? You know, like Swiss cheese. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Anytime. All right, so anything about Big Whoop? Longitude is the sideways one or is that latitude? Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Wow, you're pleasant. All right, let's ask about Big Whoop. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Nobody sent me, I'm freelance. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files, yes. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. So, that's good. It's given me a clue. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? Let's see. I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. I know it contains unimaginable wealth, I know its location is a mystery, and I don't know much about it at all. Basically, the first and the fourth one are the same answer. I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? N I was going to say, no, tell me all about it. No, tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Why, I was going to say, why don't you believe that? Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them 
and they all went their separate ways. Yeah, but well, I guess if you could have a map of the island, you would know what it looks like and what you're looking for, even if it doesn't tell you where it is. So yeah, let's let's find out. Let's try and get some clues here. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. Dang. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Ah, see? I, I might have been onto something. I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Let's see where that gets us. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! Is that all? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> basically, I'm trying to get out of this conversation. Maps. That's interesting. Well, uh, see ya. Okie dokie. I'm surprised, almost surprised it wasn't Oakley dokley. Though it might have been a bit early on. Oh, pile of paper. Let's take a look. It's a pile of blank paper. So. Let's uh, move on. I think there's a few more places. There's something off to the left here and then the ship up here. Let's start at the left and work our way back from there. So. Around, yeah, there we go. What is this ship? Guest registry. So what is the guest registry? Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. So I guess we've uh, found where Largo's staying. Oh, there's an alligator. Oh, isn't that cute? Say, gator, some rope. It's tied to the post. Can we untie the rope? We pull. It's securely fastened. Dang. All right. Somehow I think that's going to be important at some point, but... Oh, use the... Oh, no. Can I pick up the bell? Why would I want to pick up the bell? Nice. I can't use the bell? Use the bell. Be with you in a second. <laughs> Can I talk? Can I talk to the innkeeper? Excuse me. I'd like a room, please. Sorry. We only have one, and it's full. What kind of inn is this? <laughs> You've only got... one... Hold it right there! That's a private room. No going up there. You've only got one room. Of course it's a private room. All right, well, there's a lot of we have to get by this guy in order to progress. So, that is. Let's go to this ship. We've gotten a lot of we need to do something about this in order to progress. It's not handing anything to us. Men of low moral fiber, pirates. Didn't we used to know some men of low moral fiber in the last game? Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. Well, what's this sign say then? Not responsible for stains left on clothing. I'm, I'm sorry, what are you? The laundry guy. Well, you're a pretty shitty laundry guy from the sounds of it. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Your clothes aren't from the sounds of it. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so... I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get a uh, catch up? Do you do alterations? Why would we ask that? Well, maybe. Let's ask. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. How about we pick up some clothes? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Uh, I, I left it in my other pants. <laughs> I must have left it in my other pants. 
Why'd you trade it for chocolate covered ants? <sighs> uh, let's just run. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. And nothing we can get back there. We could talk to our. Can we look at the rat? No. There's a bucket. Can we steal the bucket without getting caught? Hey, leave that alone. Nope. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Hey, there we go. We've successfully picked something up. We have one item in our inventory. So uh, let's have a chat with our friends, the men of low moral fiber. Uh, excuse me? That woke him up. What is it? Hi, long time no see. Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Did you ever get that circus started? Hang on. Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush Streetput, a mighty pirate of the man who rid the world of the Chuck. I'm Guybrush. He tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming <laughs> it was a bad. Uh, I love how meta this game is. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Well, that's the first time we've had uh, Guybrush. Yeah, is it? Gorbush is a new one, I know that one. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. And so what are you doing here, then? Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Okay, so... Yeah, what, what does this have to do with performing? But what does this have to do with performing? We're getting to that! We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Don't Aside blame you. from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big whoop! See, I'm looking for that. Did you find anything? I don't see what this has to do with performing. <laughs> he still has a valid point there. Let's ask what, uh, what did you find? Big whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. It seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom. So we just left a gaping hole there. <laughs> oh, By God. the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. So, two things. One, how do you not notice that your glass bottom boat doesn't have glass bottom? Two, actually three things. Two, kids don't look up glass bottom boat ride on uh, Urban Dictionary. I'm serious. Don't look that up. This isn't one of those reverse psychology things. You really don't want to look that up. And three, there's only... One boat salesman in the world that we know that would pull that shit off. So when do we run into Stan again? When do we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies, that you should bore passerbys, <laughs> which tears with long stories. <laughs> what, what is it already? What did he say? Tell me already. That you should bore passersby to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. <laughs> okay. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. The precarious nature of nature? I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closest to the Earth. What? I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. 
Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. Dirtophobia, groundophobia, <laughs> terraphermophobia, stupidity. <laughs> stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcophobia. Wouldn't that be... <laughs> I was going to say, isn't that the fear of killer whales? Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. All right, well, what happened to your leg? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Uh, okay, can I have some money for it since I don't? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Where? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. All right. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Swell. All right. Well, our exploration of Scab Island has not started particularly well. And we know we got to go to the woodsmiths next time and pick up some, well, we, we know lots of things we gotta do. We gotta pick up some polish from the woodsmiths. We have to steal the files from the cartographer. We have to, I don't know, do something. We have to make a voodoo doll. I was gonna say, we have to do something over here, and it's, presumably voodoo parts can be picked up from Largo's hotel room. And we have to go into the uh, bloody lip and get some money for being the chef, I guess. We have to find a way to dispose of the chef there. But I guess we'll do all of that next time on Monkey Island 2. So until the next time, I'm Ed Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2 in the playlists on the screen in the description down below and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.